new National Foundry Training Centre is a great facility that offers the opportunity for us to give practical training to young people in the industry and even to upskill people who are already in the industry. It came about through some investment by the Black Country LEP who went out and sourced some funding and through that we've been able to build this fabulous new centre. I have to say as well the support from the suppliers to the industry has been absolutely fantastic with many of them donating time and equipment to the centre. As we developed the new training centre it was correct that we had the right training standards and education process in place for the future engineers. And to do this, we established the new Apprenticeship Training Standard, STO566, which is specifically designed for cast metals engineers, foundrymen and pattern makers. I've been in the industry for about 25 years, and I've been an apprenticeship just like the learners here. And I wanted to get involved, really, because there's a massive gap and a massive need for skills in our industry. In the machined areas, high, high pressure areas are unacceptable for shrinking. So I teach casting simulation technology, and I use um, a practical approach. So we have the software on site here at the uh, Elite Centre and the students get to use the, the software themselves and use their own castings to simulate during the course so it's practical and relevant to their company. The learning techniques we use for the apprentices tend to follow applied type learning which involves much hands-on and much practical and actual technical information. The way we do this is we will give them a technical lesson but then we will break the lesson up come into the foundry which we have and we will be demonstrating what we've just been teaching them in the classroom. We can offer a variety of practical training, upskilling, we can teach people in a safe place and I think it really is a, a fantastic boon for, for the UK foundry industry. What I enjoy about working at Foundry Training Service is bringing all the modern teaching uh, methods, i.e. blended learning and technological innovations which we, we have in abundance here, plus we have a, a very, very experienced team which I'm proud to be a member of. We can relate all our uh, previous experience to the, to the theory and, and methods that we apply in, in, in modern foundries today. Whilst we're here in the black country, it's important to recognise that this is a centre for the whole of the UK industry. Apprenticeships are delivered in week-long blocks for the duration and there is support with accommodation and travel for apprentices while they're here and that support comes from the Tor Lodge and Apple Cross Trust. So really I think we can confidently say that this is a centre for the whole of the UK industry. All the teachers are from industry, we've all been there and done it and we will help your learner through the journey to becoming a fully qualified engineer that's practical and useful to your company. To any employer I will take that opportunity because not only will it underpin their own business, but it would also enable them to upskill their business and improve their business. My granddad was previously in the foundry industry. He worked at the same place I'm at now for about 40 years. I enjoyed working in the workshop with everyone, seeing how they get on and like sort of comparing it to myself and learning stuff from the other boys as well. This apprenticeship's helped me a lot socially, but as well, uh, it's made me sort of screw my head on a bit because being around other people with a good work drive sort of pushes you forward to be the same. On a day-to-day -day basis, we, uh, we do some theory aspects in the classroom, learning from the tutors. We do uh, practical aspects as well, and we follow the whole process from beginning to end. After I've completed the apprenticeship, I'm hopeful that these skills will allow me to um, potentially develop my role at the current employer I'm at now, spectrum of responsibilities and such. I'd just like to develop myself so I'm more useful to the company. I enjoy method engineering because it's quite an interesting subject. I had no idea that it existed before coming here. So I think, I think the f facilities are really good. It's quite sort of specialised to our course and it's, quite, it's been set up really well. This centre is not just about the, the, the formal education through an apprenticeship, it's to ensure we transfer skills from previous experienced people that's been in the industry for a long time to those that are just starting. I'm optimistic that this new centre will enable young people coming in to have a fantastic future. We're looking for progression, we hope to be able to offer higher level programmes in the future, but this is a really good start point for, for young people wanting to have a practical understanding of the, of the UK foundry industry. The more commitment we get from the industry by putting future engineers through the training courses, it will deliver its own success because the success is the sustainability of the UK foundry industry. We're very much part of the circular economy. Castings are everywhere 
and the future for the industry is, is, is very positive if we can get technicians coming through to be the future leaders of our industry.